there's not much of a statement. I mean, that's that's embarrassing, and um, I take the the blame of it and, and not having the guys ready and um, not at any phase of the game. So uh, it's not a whole lot that uh, you can be said or I can say. Uh, I'll answer questions, um, but it's you know it's very difficult trying to figure out where we are and what we need to continue to move forward. But uh, you know uh, we're going to have to do that. Let's, let's focus a little bit on the defense, Luke. I mean, you're a defensive-minded guy. Your guys have done a good job in the second half of games pretty much all season, but the first half, have you been able to pinpoint what the issue has been? No, obviously we, we were awful in the first half. Uh, couldn't get off the field. You know, we made some, you know, some obviously major mistakes. Uh, the third down stuff makes you, frustrates you, and, you know, they're going to make some plays. Uh, but the, the complete blown coverages uh, on two touchdowns, um, Really, really put us in a tough situation, and, and then we were kind of spinning and spiraling, and just couldn't get anything kind of gathered together and get somebody to step up. Luke, you guys get that field goal on the first drive, and it just seemed like offensively you couldn't string together those third downs. Like, what did you see wasn't happening? Well, for we got to get them the ball. I mean, <clears throat> momentum got completely shifted and changed, and you know. You only get 16, 17 plays legitimately in the first half. It's it's hard to find a rhythm and get things going, and um, so I, I think it's it's obviously all together. It, it's it's not one area. It's not one issue. It's not just you know getting you know off the field on third downs on defense or completing third downs on offense. It's finding a way to to play some complimentary football that gives you a chance to win. You talked about not having your players ready. Uh, on Monday, you had said a similar thing in terms of what you wanted to kind of improve this season. Why do you think there's been a consistent issue with preparation and not being ready necessarily to play the opponents? I don't. I mean, I, I, if I had that answer, I think we would uh, have changed a lot of different things. Um, it's not that our guys. I said it on Sunday. They came out and had a, a good night. They did a good job. Um, you know, and then it's the ability to, to consistently continue to do the things the rest of the week that give you a chance to perform and, and play at the level of what you need to play at. And some reason right now we're not we're not able to do that. You know, I, I think we have pretty good weeks, and then you know when you get out there on Saturday, the ability to to adjust and adapt to maybe a few new things, especially in the first half, uh, we just have not found a way to be able to do. When a team comes in with such high expectations of their own and and doesn't accomplish that. It can have an effect that goes on the rest of the season. Do you think you've lost some of this team? Do you think they've tuned you out in any way? I don't know about that. I just think that it's the expectation sometimes, you know, obviously has made it, you know, I would say difficult, but when you get put in a situation, it gets, you know, almost like the, you can see is it down on how well we can't do what we, you know, originally had set out to do. And I think sometimes that just, you got to find a way to get over top of that. And uh, right now we have not, you know, regardless of what we thought and, you know, what people thought we could could or should be able to do at the beginning of the season, the reality is, is where you are. And it takes, you know, leaders, it takes guys to be able to step up, it takes coaches to be able to continue to push through um, based on the situations we're in. And we got to do a better job. Luke, you've talked about not playing complimentary football, not finishing games, and it's probably tough, big picture right now to think about this, but what would you say are the most significant issues as to why the, the team hasn't played up to it. There's not a single complimentary thing right now that we're doing. I don't think we've done in the last couple of weeks, to be honest with you. And so it's very difficult. And we're gonna have to we're gonna have to figure that out and, and you know, some way, somehow, based on, you know, the only way you're gonna win football games and win in this league is to be able to do that and play complimentary football. And right now we're, we're not able to do it, and uh, but we will find a way, and and we will continue to push, and that's what I kind of said there in the locker room afterwards. I mean, there's a there's a lot of things we got to figure out in this last couple of weeks, and uh, we can't look at you know this you know next Saturday yet. I mean, we're gonna have to look at tomorrow, and we're gonna have to be one day at a time, and one practice at a time, one moment at a time, and find a way you know with the guys we got, the guys that want to be here, and the guys that want to do it, to push forward and and do the things that we can do and do them better. Coach, they had 11 uh, third down conversions. Uh, what were they doing well that led to that? Anything or on the and everything. It, it, very hot in the first half, uh, you know, made some plays, hit some, hit some balls. But those hurt. Those obviously extend drives, them keep them in the possession. I think the, you know, the, the big ones, the ones that we kind of, you know, blew there for touchdowns um, are the ones that, 
you know, are the daggers. And I think that the the frustration of of a few, you know, first downs, you know, especially on the third down situations, caused us probably a little bit too much uh, anxiety, and that probably helped a big part of us, you know, busting there in a couple of the touchdown throws, which. You know, you can handle. We've done a decent job of people moving the football, and then we kind of settle in. Um, you know, especially miss. You know, third downs in particular in the first part of the, you know, the game or the first half. But we haven't given up the, you know, the the easy touchdowns, the ones that are completely blown type of situations that you know just compound everything that you're doing. And that's where tonight, very, very, very disappointing. Um, you know, in a lot of different ways, but I think the the ability and the frustrations to to give up the really big plays at those moments, and I'm talking about the, the two touchdowns in the first half that uh, you know are just complete b- bust on our part. Look, you asked about Northwestern, what you saw from them when we talked to you on Monday. You said they don't beat themselves; they know who they are. Do you think when they the way they came in and executed early that that was a sharp, prepared team? I know tough to tip your cap to an opponent in a moment like this, yeah, but they did a good job. They did a good job, and, and your job is to, to not allow them to be sharp and, and, you know, to be on point. And, you know, so you can tip your cap to say they did a good job, but we also did a real poor job. And we, we've got to find a way to do a hell of a lot better job, uh, whether it's the first half, the second half, whatever. It, it, it doesn't matter. It's, it's a 60-minute football game, and right now we have, you know, aren't playing 60 minutes by any means. Uh, Luke, with – uh, Braylon, you got in the game, looked like the first couple offensive series, and then not after that. It appeared like, did, was there any update on him in terms of why he started it and then trailed No, we, we didn't know if he was really going to be able to go. And, you, you know, it, the situation, he, it didn't seem like he was able to, you know, kind of let loose and go. And, uh, you know, we kind of gave him the opportunity, and we had to maybe see him in the first, you know, few first drive or so there. Um, but it, I think it became a little bit evident that, you know, it, it, didn't feel like it was good enough to go. Luke, kind of tagging on to that, offensive line seemed to struggle. They seemed like they were bringing some linebackers and safeties late. Like, what did you see running game-wise that just wasn't able to click until maybe late in the game there? No, it didn't click at all. I don't know that late in the game it clicked at all. I mean, we ran a couple draw plays, and that's, you know, that would be embarrassing to Wisconsin football to say you ran the ball and on a couple draw plays. The reality is we couldn't run the football, um, regardless of, you know, whatever the situation, whether they were bringing safeties down, whether they were running linebackers to, we have to be able to run the football. You know, we got to be able to get off the field on third down. We got to be able to not blow. I mean, there's just, you know, a lot of things that, that add up to give you the, you know, a really difficult night. And it's, uh, I, I don't, I hope it doesn't get any lower than this. Luke, you made a reference to finding out who wants to be here. How do you go about doing that? Like, how? There's a lot of players on this team. How do you find that out? We'll find out this week. Uh, Coach, second quarter, when you guys were down 14-3, to three, you ended up punting on fourth and three. What went into the decision for that? I can't remember the exact time and when that one was, but we're not playing good enough on defense. It's really difficult to, to give them a short field, you know, to, to be aggressive. Um, you know, so at that point in time, I think if that's the one I'm thinking about, we, we down it down to the eight yard line, and then the next play they run for 42 yards on a missed crack replace around the edge. Um, so hindsight, yeah, maybe you should just went for it and given it. If we didn't get it, we'd be right back where you were after this one play. But all those things make it decisions really difficult when you're not playing very well. Um, so, you know, when you're playing really well and you make a bad decision, they, they they overcome it when you're playing really poorly and you think you make a good decision it turns out to be a bad one so it's i mean they, they kind of go hand in hand and um either way if we don't find a better if we don't find a way to play better football all decisions will be bad luke how much is a lack of identity on both sides of the ball hurting you guys right now uh i don't know i mean i i, I thought we had an identity a little bit more on defense um, we didn't play well tonight at all. Uh, I think offensively, it's 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 hurting us. Um, trying to find, you know, a way to have some balance, which right now we have none. And um, you know, so that identity of of being able to do that, you know, there's things you want to do, and there's things that all of a sudden you recognize you can't do. And it makes it really difficult when you have this vision of what your identity wants to 
B, but you really, as you get into it, you start to recognize that I don't know that you can do that. So we've got to do a better job of being able to adjust whatever that identity is and find ways to win football games right now. Yeah. So kind of getting back to the decision-making process, some guys are analytics guys. Are you a guy who goes by your gut a lot where, if, like you said, if – Maybe you'll go for it if you want There's to be aggressive. There's no analytics that right now is going to put us in a better situation. We, we use it. We look at it. Um, you try to manage games with it to, to, to be more aggressive. And then you do have to, you know, get a feel for, you know, there's a lot of other things that analytics don't yeah. take into consideration. And uh, That, that you know. was my question. I mean, for example, if your defense is playing well, you maybe go for it there. Oh, there's maybe no doubt. That's what, Okay. There's no doubt. I mean, you put yourself in those situations like last week, you know, playing good defense and, and you know, after the first series or two. And, and so you're going to put yourself in those situations. And when you're not, it's like I said, all decisions become very, very difficult. Luke, at what point in the week did you know that you were going to have Tanner available? And then how did you think he handled just coming back in I mean, a month? Well, I don't know that we – I mean, we, we – assumed you know Tuesday and Wednesday at practice that okay I think he can I think he can do it but even as we warmed up today I'm like okay now what's it really going to feel like what's it going to be like when you do get tackled what's it going to be like when you do get hit you know I mean so there's still game time decisions that you know kind of like you said with with Braylon I think okay we're going to give him an opportunity to go but you know you put him in there and if they can't go they can't go and uh, so I, I Tanner is a tough dude and whether it's three weeks outside of surgery, I thought he did as good as he, you know, could do probably in, in a lot of situations. Um, but he's fighting through a lot. 